Township, the Chief of Police, Dwayne Pittman, and the Fire Chief, Greg Bickford. Hi, guys. Hi. How Thanks for having us on. Yeah, nice to see you guys. Uh, I saw you at uh, the Napoleon uh, Fire Hall for uh, my vaccine shots a few times. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> that turned out to be a great uh, thing for us with uh, Brown's Pharmacy and the Health Department uh, helping us out and making sure we got those shots in those arms. Uh, that was that was huge for us for the last couple of years, actually. It really was a great off, uh, service that you offered uh, to the community uh, because, you know, so many uh, people wondered, how are we going to do this logistically? Yep. Um, this was a perfect setup. You could be you could turn into a year round vaccine clinic. It, it, it was it was a it was a great it was a great. Uh, when we we all got together, the the health department Browns and uh, us, we all well kind of sat and we all looked at each other across the room. It was like, can you pull your part off? Can you pull your part <laughs> off? <laughs> we got this. Do you have this? And and uh, it ended up being a great partnership. Uh, it, now it's it's a piece of cake. Uh, we say, oh yeah, we're gonna do it. How many? How many we're gonna do? Uh, everyone knows their place. Everyone goes right to it and gets at it, and we can we can knock it out no problem. Yeah. So. It was really great for our seniors uh, because they didn't have to get out of the car and uh, they could just pull right in and, and make it out. So we were, it was a great program and we're going to continue it as needed uh, anytime. Yep. Yeah. Anytime we need to. Well, I, I, I know that uh, Browns uh, were just so thrilled that they were be able to offer this, uh, use your facilities. You're not going to find better people than, than those folks. They were, they were terrific to us and yep. their whole staff uh, for beginning to end, even when we were doing 600 people uh, in a day, that was a, it was a quite an undertaking and they did a fantastic job. Yeah, because you had to use all of your team plus yep. a lot of the volunteers that help you out throughout the year. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we, we had the, when we were running at capacity, we had uh, we even had 50 U of M pharmacy students there as well, uh, split up, uh, doing 25 in the morning and 25 in the afternoon. And they were doing drops and, and preloading all the syringes. And even, even with the 25 students doing that and, and helping give uh, vaccinations, we had to shut down every once in a while because we were going so fast. Okay. When we would have at capacity, the cars would pull in three and a half later three and a half minutes later they were pulling out uh with their vaccine shots and all their forms filled out yeah so. it's amazing how smoothly it ran absolutely and i know because I, I got all my shots there yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we look for you we yeah, knew we, you were we coming you. <laughs> <laughs> great job thank you uh, and i never got covid so your vaccines worked oh that's perfect yeah that's <laughs> nothing wrong with that yeah, yeah we were, we're <laughs> glad to do it we're, we're glad to have it have everyone out there <laughs> absolutely so the um, township uh, looking great because you have a, a project that not only um, adds some character and class to downtown Napoleon, but serves our uh, your community's veterans. Right. We, it was actually Chief Bickford's idea, so I don't want to steal that, but he had talked about seeing it in other areas and they mentioned it to me. Uh, and about a week later, I was on a motorcycle trip uh, going to Ohio, drove through a little town, I think it was Brayburn, Ohio, mm -hmm come up over a hill and here's a little town like ours that doesn't have the sidewalks and the lamp post and whatever, but just uh, uh, utility poles, but it was just lined with those banners honoring veterans and I got chills. I couldn't believe it. So first stop that we got to, I called Greg on the phone and I said, we absolutely have to do this as soon as possible. Uh, and, and, and he concurred and then we came up with the idea to, uh, to do a golf outing to try to raise the funds. Uh, some some of the jurisdictions that we talk to, they they charge uh, the family like a hundred dollars, and you get you submit the names and whatnot. And we're going to try to do this for as long as we can off uh, money that we raise, either in golf outing or donations and whatnot, so it doesn't cost the uh, veteran or their family any money at all. And there you see uh, an example of what mm -hmm. these banners look like. Unfortunately, that's not my golf swing there. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> the ba the banners turned out perfectly. It was is amazing. Uh, we were able to get them up uh, just a couple weeks ago. They'll be up for a couple weeks past Memorial. And we've gotten a lot of great comments and, and even found some people stopping to uh, look at their veteran and uh, get a picture mm -hmm. with their family underneath it. And it's all along our uh, parade route uh, for the fourth, uh, fourth or excuse me, Memorial Day Parade. So they're, they'll all come through there and, and then hopefully we'll get a lot, of, a lot of people through and get those pictures and 
yeah, even the previous guests commenting when we were passing by the green room out here that, <laughs> that they saw that they saw them already and they love them out there. So it, we've already been getting really good feedback. So uh, we were telling me about this uh, the last time I got my vaccine, you were saying you, not, you had no idea how many veterans there might be right. uh, from, from yeah, Napoleon. No and but you, there's a ton there's a lot yeah there's a lot and uh, we keep uh, some people weren't able to hear about it and we're certainly appreciate you letting us come on to talk about it so people can submit they can come to the, the township office uh, submit their form give us a picture of their veteran and then we will get them them up at the appropriate time for veterans day all of them the memorial ones and the uh, current vets that we have we will make sure we get them up and honor them as well and then after they've been up for a little while uh, before they get uh, rain uh, or rain soaked and sun baked, we will take them down and then give them to the veterans' families, mm -hmm. and then turn the process around and, and hopefully redo it uh, again uh, the yeah. next year. But we're it depends on how much money we raise and how things go. So we've already had some great cooperation. You're telling me about uh, consumers. You were afraid that it was going to cost a lot of money to put things on their polls. Right. right. Yeah. And then they uh, they got a hold of us and allowed us to use the polls, and and it's just been fantastic. Yeah. To, they've, uh, they've, been, get they've, been, they've helped us out a bunch to, to get this going. So, um, we're we're working through all of that. So it worked out great. All right. So if you want to help, uh, there's ways you can donate. You can go up be in the golf outing. That's one. Yeah. Yep. So t what are the details? Where and uh, how much it's, and all that? It's uh, June 5th, and it's at Burr Oak uh, Golf Course on North Palmer Road. Barry Vaughn uh, that is running the course for them uh, got a hold of us when he heard we were doing this oh. and thought it was such a great idea that he wanted to uh, help us. So he's, it's the first time we've ever done a golf outing and I've never I've played in a lot of them, but I've never done one. Uh, so he's helped us a great deal, get the, the process going and making sure that we got things uh, done right. And uh, just recently we, we, we've got 30 teams. We got room for a couple more, uh, but we always have room for whole sponsors and and or any donations because uh, we're going to be doing this as long as we can afford to and if we have to we'll do another golf outing next year and see if we keep it rolling an annual yeah. tradition we're, yeah that's yeah. the way it's looking <laughs> that's the way it's looking it's it, it, we didn't we didn't realize when we started it how much work it was to do a golf outing wow. <laughs> yeah. that's, you know and uh, we're like well we, we we can we can do a golf outing we can just get a few people together and get some donations this this won't be bad at all and uh, it's been a lot of work for about the last three months for us but uh, it's all coming together it feels really good now we've had a lot of donations from uh, various uh, individuals businesses and uh, really, really getting on board with this, so it's good. We really, really didn't want to charge any of the families to put any of these banners up. We're trying to do this to honor them. Uh, regardless of any financial status, we want to make sure that everyone's taken care of. Cool. All right, sign up. Uh, they're they're uh, already uh, nearing a uh, sellout, but still room to get in there. Still a little room. Still yep. room. Yeah. We'll yeah. work with anybody. Now, the last time you guys were here, we were uh, anticipating the um, millage vote, which both fire and police millage uh, got approved. Yes. Yes. So what's, uh, how, have it's you been, spent the money yet? Yeah, well, we've spent <laughs> a lot of it. Um, we've just been able to improve the technology, uh, like the patrol cars. We have some of the newer uh, tablets mm -hmm. in the cars, the mobile uh, tablets. Uh, the, the cars themselves are set up correctly. We have the Axon body cameras and Axon in-car cameras. Um, and the way that the cars are set up, the equipment is, is just been fantastic. We could never afford that before. Uh, we've improved, uh, we have a full-time school liaison officer, uh, Sergeant Mark Hodshire at the schools mm -hmm. and doing an amazing job there. And as we all know, that's everybody's worried about schools these yeah. days. So that's important uh, for us, but to, to get caught up in technology is, it, it's so expensive, uh, and, but it's terrible to be behind the curve and it's nice to actually yeah. be where we need to be and, and we're really proud of the community and, and we're proud of our cars. We sh will show them to anybody that'll stop and talk to us. And also, most of the time they don't wanna stop and talk to us unless it's, you know, we're driving through the neighborhood. But, <laughs> uh, but uh, Greg has actually purchased a few new fire trucks. Yep. Yeah, we've just we've just received two new our uh, two of our three new fire trucks we purchased. Um, they'll be in service uh, on the road probably about two months. It takes a while for us to fit them out, radios in, various things, uh, all the equipment mounted, uh, get you know things ordered. With supply chain issues, we have that in the fire service as well, so it takes a long time to get items uh, a lot more than normal. 
Uh, and then we have one more. Uh, the third one is being built in Florida. We actually, I just got back yesterday from uh, the first inspection on that. So we should hopefully have that one by July. And uh, wow. it, so we'll have three new trucks. Two of them will be in the Memorial Day Parade. So uh, they won't be in service yet, but we'll have them out in the parade to show the community where their uh, money went. Nice. Now, were they replacing old equipment? Yes. Yeah, one, uh, the oldest truck that one replaced is 37 years old. So uh, uh, it, it's going to be it's going to be great for the community to have have the equipment we need to to properly take care of the community. Well, that's the uh, the catch twenty two of keeping the trucks uh, so um, beautiful and well maintained. That's right. When they're out, you know, when they're out that many years, they still look great. Right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was that was the issue you have. If if you don't take care of them and they look bad, then then you're telling the community that you're not taking care of the money they give you. <laughs> and if you take care of the trucks, and then they say, well, they look great, you probably don't need that. So it, we, we really had to, to educate everyone on, on why and you know with all of that, with the millage, it was, it was great. The support was great. Uh, it still is great, it's great every day. Um, it's really improved uh, the response times to medical uh, emergencies in the community. Oh, yeah. uh, there's times now where the fire department actually beats us. Well, we're already on the road. Mm -hmm go into a call, there's times now that they're there before us and in the case of an emergency, a heart attack and whatnot, that's just invaluable uh, mm -hmm. to have those folks and the new Lucas devices that yep. uh, they were able to purchase uh, for the fire department. I mean, it's, uh, we have a great community and we're trying to make sure that we show them that that was money well spent and money well invested in the community with the uh, hiring new people and, and giving them the best that we can, and we try that every day. Yeah, and you do have, uh, people don't realize how big an area that you cover. Uh, you've got a big stretch of 127 yes. that's in your responsibility. Um, a lot of uh, lake uh, homes. A lot of lake homes. Yeah, we cover homes. the northern third of Norval Township, so we have 52 square miles that we cover. That's a lot. So it's a lot, and it's, it's an awkward coverage area because it's long and skinny, so that's why we have multiple stations uh, on the east side and the west side to help help uh, our response times there as well. Nice. And your uh, color scheme, your uh, logo on the side of the police cars, you, have you won any awards for that yet? Uh, no, well, we, we, we're hoping. I'm getting ready to take it up to the Michigan <laughs> Chiefs. And uh, uh, we had uh, Trips uh, Auto Body actually put a ceramic coating on our new one nice. uh, for us to, to help preserve that paint job. And we, we of course, put the, try to get as close to the school colors as possible because uh, Napoleon's green, so we try to keep it green, although we have changed up the design a little bit, but it's, it's pretty awesome. We like it, and a lot of good responses from that. Yeah, they look sharp, and the trucks are red, yep. right? <laughs> but they do have a nice green flag, a Napoleon pirate flag on there that, <laughs> they do. that we're really proud of. And that's yeah, yeah, one absolutely. way we try to make sure that we let the community know. And our school is our most important area. That's where all our resources are and, and, uh, and, the, and the most valuable assets is those kids. So okay. we do it. We, we're there every morning. The police and fire department are there uh, to greet the kids. And then we make sure they get across the crosswalk. West yeah, Ave is a very dangerous uh, area and we, we're there every morning to make yeah. sure that we get them there unless we're on a call. Uh, we try to be there. Yeah, on average we have two police officers, two firefighters at the school every morning. So, Well that's what people want to hear mm -hmm. uh, because that's my belief that your, your number one job is keeping our kids safe. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So thanks for doing that. Yeah, we, it's been, but it's fun too. I mean to, to see the little kids in the morning get a high five. And, <laughs> And, and you uh, never know what they're going to say. Yeah, that's, a, for, that's, that's, that's a sure. fact. That's a fact. It's, some it's, of them, some of them come to school really excited. Some of them are a little grumpier, but it's always fun. <laughs> yep. Well, good luck with the golf outing, and I can't wait to see uh, the banners hanging. I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll check them out in the next few days. That'd be awesome. Perfect. I appreciate it. Good to see you both. Thanks. Thank you, uh, Napoleon Fire Chief. Greg Bickford and Napoleon, I'm, yeah, that's it. You're the fire chief. Yep. And Dwayne Pittman, <laughs> the, uh, the police chief of Napoleon.